So here we are. Um, we're just we're just north of uh, Big Sur proper, and there's the Point Sur uh, uh, Naval Light Station, Naval Facility, and this is one of the few areas where there was actually a Mexican land grant. So this this area, very broad. There's some there's some coastal prairie. You can do cattle operations here, um, unlike and you can see these cattle right here. There's cattle right there. Uh, unlike other parts of Big Sur. So this was a an area where you could do um, traditional commercial operations in the era of the Mexican ownership of California um, and then leading on into the American era. Um, and But that's all. This is the only chunk of the coast that, of uh, this part of, of the Big Sur coastline that was um, formerly in some type of large land holding. The rest uh, would, would um, be either Native American settlements or individual homes. And then by the 1860s, when the Homestead Act comes in, little people would, not little people, but, but people would, would stake out small claims. So for the most part, uh, this was the, the, the epicenter of commercial activity here in Big Sur. Uh, for the you know mid to late 1800s.